Hey guys, Neckbug here, and I just wanted to do a really quick, like, little slideshow presentation talk about what's been going on with my channel because I noticed that I have been hemorrhaging subscribers, and obviously, I'm not, I'm not really trying to convince people to stay if they don't like my content because I know my content has been very different, but what I am trying to do is explain kind of the direction the channel is going because I feel like there might be some misconceptions about that so people can better decide if they want to stick around or not. Um, I, I know the big question that's going around is, Net, are you just a gaming channel now? Have you stopped doing video essays and now you're just doing gaming and game highlights? And the answer is no. I'm not just a gaming channel. I've always wanted to include gaming in my channel, but I am not transitioning to just being a channel about video games and video game highlights. Animation and animation analysis is still really important to me. I'd like to be doing both. Ideally, I'm doing both pretty consistently. Ideally, it's about equal, like maybe a two to one ratio because game videos are just easier to put out and I stream more often and but the idea is to have a little bit of both. And now that brings up the question, why isn't it both so far? It's pretty much just been games after a lot of silence. Thing is, um, I am working on more animation essays as well as Closer Look. I don't want to get too deep into personal drama. And I, I, I want to stress again, I am putting this out for informational purposes, not to guilt trip, not to beg anybody who's not interested in the channel anymore. I don't say any of this in an effort to make people feel bad. Like, oh, if I'm unsubscribing, I'm mean because you're having such a hard time. No, I don't feel that way. I'm not taking it personally. You follow what kind of content you want. But the reason that I haven't had much in the way of animation essays is over the last few years, I've had my priorities in a lot of the wrong places. I, in my personal life and in some of my, well, I've just had a lot of messed up priorities on things. And this year I ended up losing a lot. I lost some people, um, both due to the pandemic and due to other reasons. I had to move again and it's just it's been a lot that I've been dealing with and it's been making me think a lot and I just haven't had the mental energy a lot of the time to be doing animation essays and videos and all that stuff I've just been kind of depressed and I've been busy taking care of myself and I also this isn't a job for me, I do not make, I make like, I hit a high of making 79 cents off my YouTube channel in one month this month. Ooh, ah, but um, I have a day job. I'm also working on the second half of my university education. I got my associate's degree a few years ago, took a bit of a break, and now I'm starting up on the rest of my bachelor's. Um, so that's really exciting stuff. But it does take up a lot of my time, and in addition to that, my mental health has not been so great. So it's just been difficult for me to do kind of high intelligence labor. Um, game streams, I don't say this to insult anybody who does gaming for a living. To me, game streams are just easier to do. I just have fun playing games. There's not as much pressure on them for me on editing. It's, it's not as difficult of an editing job, and... I'm not putting the pressure of making a career out of that on myself. I'm just enjoying whoever shows up and hanging out with them and just having a good time. That's almost more of a hobby for me than doing my essays is. So that's why you're seeing a lot more game videos right now is they're just easier to do. It's just an easier thing for me to get out and it's something I want to be part of my channel. So I've been working on that. I've been working on that. I've also been working on the animation essays. I've got several scripts and I'm about halfway through a closer look vid, but it's just been very slow going. I'm hoping to have 
something out by the end of the year that's animation or closer look related. I have winter off from school, so that's also helpful. I'm starting to sort of come around the corner on a lot of the grief I've been dealing with, so I'm hoping to slowly move towards having a more even spread of game and animation videos. I know in the past I've been a lot more specific about these things, and I've given like schedule ideas and what I'd like to do with schedules. I think that was putting too much pressure on myself, so I'm not going to give a full schedule of how often I'm hoping to have um, content up, but I would like to have animation videos just often enough at least that people don't forget that this is also an animation analysis channel. That said, there is a bit of an elephant in the room that I've been a bit afraid to address, but I think I just need to be honest with people about. The video that brought a lot of people to my channel absolutely blew it up. My most viewed video that ranted in on High Guardian Spice isn't the kind of content I normally do. And I, I feel like that's kind of obvious when you look at my whole history of my channel. I tend to be more positive. I was very frustrated when that trailer came out and I got caught up in a lot of everyone's frustration and just made a really quick video about my thoughts on it because nobody was saying what I wanted to say about it. Everyone was just kind of, oh, it's too Western for anime. I have my own thoughts on the false dichotomy of Western and anime, but I was just kind of frustrated about it because I kind of felt like um, the fact that it had a um, lot of women working on it was treated like that automatically meant it was going to be good. And I was even more frustrated about the fact that they were acting like they were the only ones doing anything really high bar in 2D animation when we were kind of in the middle of a 2D animation renaissance. And I could go back and do a whole video on that video. I feel like there's a few things I didn't communicate very well. And I definitely, I felt like from the comments, I definitely got people who didn't understand what I was trying to say and were even using my video to be very sexist, ironically. Like, that was, that was interesting. But yeah, I, if you're... The, the fact of the matter is if you're hanging around hoping for more really angry videos about blah blah animation blah blah that's not what I really enjoy doing. As much as Rage gets clicks I didn't really enjoy making that video in a lot of ways. I much prefer going more laser pointed and focusing on things I really like. It is fun every once in a while to slam on something but it's honestly a lot more fun for me to talk about my hyperfixations. I'm super autistic, and that's what I enjoy talking about. Um, so if, if you're hanging around hoping for a lot more ranty, slamming people videos, there's a lot of channels that do that. I don't think that's going to be me. And I'm sorry if you feel misled about that. I'm not sure how people got misled when that was one video out of a lot of them, but you know, that's just... It felt, it only feels fair to be honest about that. That said, I will, if the darn thing ever comes out, because I hear it got kind of swamped into absolute production madness, I do plan on doing a review of High Guardian Spice whenever it comes out. It only feels fair after giving the early promotion so much flack to talk about how it turns out. But I won't, can't tell you for sure if that's going to be negative or positive. I'm not trying to be intentionally biased against it. I'm going to give it as fair of a review as I would give anything. So, yeah. Um, also, one other thing um, that I've been, you might have noticed I've been working on is I updated the graphics on the channel quite a bit. I also updated the graphics on my Twitch and I made a side YouTube channel that has all of the, like, they're called Video On Demands, the uncut streams from Twitch. And I gave that some nice graphics too. And I'm not just saying that to show off. Part of the reason that I'm mentioning the graphics thing is because one of my hopes is that the graphics I use for thumbnails and stuff are going to help accommodate the fact that I kind of have two kinds of content on my channel. I have animation and games. I don't want people to be getting confused who maybe they're just following me for the games. Maybe they're just following me for the animation. If you're in one of those two camps, 
my goal is to make the thumbnails for both distinctive enough that you don't have trouble figuring out which one my videos are at a glance. Like you can see this is um one of the drawings I did of me holding a controller and like I'm going to be holding a controller in all my gameplay thumbs and I'm not going to be holding a controller in thumbs for other things and I'm hoping that that will help differentiate and I might I might even switch what side I'm on. I'm going to do some experimenting with that so if you're one of the people following my channel and some of your frustration is, oh, I only follow for the games, but I keep clicking animation, or oh, I only follow for the animation, I keep clicking the games. If you keep running into that problem, feedback is really helpful. I really want those two to be differentiated so people can tell the difference on the fly and know whether or not that's the kind of content that they're interested in. So I think that's everything that I needed to say about this. If you have any other questions, feel free to bring them up in the comments and um whether you stick around on the channel or you've just been supporting it so far but feel like this isn't really going the direction where you're interested in anymore thank you um i the absolute blowing up of interest i got in the channel um meant a lot to me and i don't know if it's going to stay on that growth pattern one of my favorite things about hyper focusing content isn't so much that I get a lot of viewers but I get viewers who are really adamant and like to interact with my stuff and that's my favorite things is to have these discussions with people so whether you've been supporting the channel a long time whether you're going to continue to support the channel or whether this is where you get off I just want to say thank you thank you for being a part of what I've been doing so far and I appreciate you so yeah um more videos coming up soon. Like I said, I'd like to, if I can organize it right, I would like to have both Closer Look 10 and a more generalized video. I've got a few essays that I'm writing up about like generally animation and anime and things like that. I'd like to have something along both of those lines up by the end of the year. Long story short, I'm not just becoming a gaming channel, it's just that animation, essays, and stuff take a lot more time and are a little slower coming. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, and thanks for hearing out my little spiel here, and I hope you have a good day. Peace!